the Rococo era. The Rococo era started in the 1700s up to the 1790s. Rococo is a combination of two words. Ro comes from the French word rocaille, which means shell work. And coco comes from baroco, which comes from the baroque era. People would call it the baroque gone mad. It all began with it being used for interior design and gardens. But then artists like Antoine Watteau, Francois Boucher, and of course, Jean Honore Fragonard began to adopt the style in their art. The Rococo style is characterized by loose brushstrokes and pastel colors like pink, peach, green, blue, yellow, and lavender. Rococo themes are more related to love, sex, portraits, and peaceful landscapes. You won't really find many Rococo paintings that will challenge you. Some are basically just beautiful people surrounded by beautiful scenery. It was often described as frivolous because it served no purpose beyond pleasing the eyes and being used for decoration. On the other hand, there was definitely some culture critics who were disturbed by women's sexuality spiraling out of control especially some of the rebellious women in the aristocracy. Although some women were probably asked by male painters to be portrayed this way in order to provide pleasure to the male aristocracy by representing women as lust objects. Although the aristocracy women most likely didn't care. This was the Rococo era after all. The first great Rococo painter was considered to be Antoine Badiou. He was known for his soft application of paint, dreamy atmosphere, and depiction of themes that revolved around youth and love. One of his paintings, Fête Colombe, portrayed a garden fête devoted to love. Fête meaning festival. A festival of outdoor flirtation. Another well-known Rococo artist, Francois Boucher, became master of Rococo painting somewhat later than Watteau. His paintings have the same characteristics as Watteau's, but are slightly more mischievous and have a suggestive tone. He even managed to make portraits or mythological scenes slightly erotic. He had a respected career, and as a result, in 1765, he became the court painter to King Louis XV. But then, later in his career, he received some criticism for some of the light-hearted erotic themes that he presented in his work. One, for example, is the piece The Blonde Odalisque, since it supposedly illustrated the brief mistress of King Louis XV. Now, Jean Honore Fragonard was Boucher's pupil. Fragonard was playful and carefree. Fragonard had the chance to have an official career as a history painter at the Salon and could have easily become an official artist to the King of France. But he preferred to make light-hearted and erotic pictures for clients. His ability to combine risque scenes with such delicate and tender colors and his unique brushwork sparked a demand in France. But of course, he was also criticized by some people for being foolish and was advised to have more self-respect. One of Fragonard's many paintings, The Swing, which was painted in 1767, oil on canvas, that is currently located in the Wallace Collections in London shows a young woman swinging back and forth amongst two men. The one on the right pushing her seems to be her husband and the one on the left hidden in the bushes being the lover. As she's on the swing, you can see how she kicks her legs apart as if she were letting the man in the bushes get a peek under her dress. And as she does that, you can see her heel falling off towards the lover which seems to symbolize sexuality. 
In the bottom right corner, there's a little white dog by the flowers that seems to be barking, and from what we know, dogs are a symbol of fidelity, which is why the dog must be upset. Then, there is a sculpture of what seems to be Cupid on the left with his finger placed in front of his mouth, as if he were telling the dog to let the lovers enjoy their intimate moment. But the main focus of this painting is the young woman on the swing. The rest just help tell the story. Finally, this is my artwork. I decided to call it Lavender Flower. My artwork is just what I felt inspired to do from Fragonard and Rococo paintings in general. I love the nature aspect of it and the pastel colors that were used. I made a sweep because I feel like it clearly represents Fragonard's painting and used silk string because the young woman on the swing was wearing silk tights and made sure to incorporate the pastel colors because that is one thing that represents Rococo after all.